Fairfax County here. But the main goal of the EMS Club at BCO is to raise awareness about what emergency medicine actually is. It's really not what you see on ER right. or what you see on Grey's Anatomy. Right. But just educating. Mm -hmm. right. And we provide free medical alert yeah. to at risk elderly in the Philadelphia and New Jersey area. Okay. This is actually a Kevlar, about a 40 minute bottle. Uh, it's, it's a carbon fiber oh. originally oh, wrapped, so it's not as heavy as a steel bottle, but it's still it's heavier, heavier than the old. Wow, that's heavy. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, I do a little bit now. Is it bad? If I'm a bad guy, I'm going to finish it again. If I'm behind you, I'm like this with a gun coming to find you, and we're welded together. Then there's another guy behind me. He's back to five. So you're going to go in and go this way. I'm going to come in and go this way. Okay. Um, but thanks, you guys, for coming out this afternoon. And uh, I know they're going over. They've been. Talking to you a little bit about EMS, what I do is try to get those critical assessments like lung sounds before I put them in the helicopter. So, for example, the scene of an accident, and I'm in the back of the ambulance talking to EMS, one of the things I'll absolutely make sure I do is get my stethoscope out and listen to the lung sounds because that's probably going to be for the, in, the, well, in the next 15 minutes while I'm caring for this patient, that's going to be probably the only opportunity until we get to the other end to listen to lung sounds. Uh, I'll let's check for a radio pulse. Now pulses we can check the patient and all our equipment is right within arm's reach. So while it does seem very small, it actually is kind of the perfect size for what we need to do. For medical helicopters, there are ones that are a little bit bigger than this, and there are also ones that, believe it or not, are smaller than this. <laughs> uh, so this is actually a pretty comfortable size.